What is going on guys? My name is Roman back again from Roman Reviews here. It has been a minute since I've seen you last. I am quite darker. Yes, I have been out doing stuff constantly. I am very dark. I basically go on a walk every single day with a ruck pack, pack. If you don't know, rucking is basically where you have a backpack, fill up with weights and just walk. It's been great. I have lost a lot of weight. I still have a long way to go, uh, but I am currently down around 40 pounds. Uh, I need—I want to hit 60 by the end of the year, so I have, tw I have basically a little, a little bit over three months to hit 20 more pounds. I think it's doable. It's something I've been uh, striving for. But as you know, I haven't really been around. I basically took summer 2024 off simply due to the fact that there was not a lot of anime that I was even interested in. I think the only one that I was interested in was Oshinoko, and I needed to catch up to it. I have not even done that. I am still in the midst of going through season one. I've been taking my time. Lately, all of my intention has been working, and I've been working basically two jobs. Uh, I work at two different sites. Um, I'm basically contracted to help another store, uh, and they love me. And I've been getting a lot of hours over there, so money has been good. It could do a little bit better, but... It's getting, it's getting good now, which is good because I need to replace this fucking thing. I didn't realize that um, it's been a while since I've been on here. Uh, it's breaking. Um, I had to s currently situate myself a certain way. Otherwise, I might break. Uh, the, the chassis is uh, currently cracked. Uh, and I feel that every time I move, it's cracking a little bit more. So I had to be very careful uh, and not move around a lot. But yeah, uh, hopefully this... I'm going to get the exact same chair because it's lasted me for almost four years. Uh, so yeah, but I wanted to go through and talk about what I'm actually going to be either watching or at least interested in for fall 2024. So let's get on to it. Really, I just find it funny that we have uh, right here Nikkei. Uh, I did re-download the update uh, because I want to go play some. I haven't really been playing a lot of gacha games, uh, so I'm gonna have to replay Nikkei uh, just because I've been busy. Uh, but yeah, uh, I want to go through and talk about First, the shows that I'm interested in. Um, there's going to be no particular order, but there are three shows for sure that I'm going to be reacting to. Whether or not uh, there's a show that I'm not, I, that's not on my radar. Uh, basically, anything sequel wise, I'm not touching outside of two, but they're Aura and Alyssa. I'm pretty sure you can guess, guess what it is. Um, but if it's a sequel, I'm probably not going to touch it with a 10 foot pole uh, because I'm not seeing the originals. Um, but if there is a show that looks interesting and, I, and I've not touched it, uh, or it's a, se it's a first season, let me know. Or if it's any of the shows that I'm going to be talking about that I'm interested in, and you've seen the source material, it'll be like, you need to watch this, let me know. I don't know. We're going to see. Three shows is already on my list. I did four last season, technically five, although I dropped Konosuba. But yeah, let's go through it. Although the first one is, it, it, it's an asterisk. I am interested in it, but I need to catch up on the first season. <laughs> Rurouni Kenshin. Rurouni Kenshin Season 2. I've actually enjoyed it. I think Linden Films is doing a very good job with this current iteration. Uh, I am curious to see how it's going to go, but from what I remember, they are following the manga pretty damn well. Uh, the last episode I saw was with the band of assassins led by that guy with a small sword. Uh, if you know, you know. Um, and it's currently that, and then a bunch of people died, and then the machine gun, or uh, the minigun. Was it a minigun? Gatling gun. It was a Gatling gun. So that's where I was at. Um, I was watching it in the background while I was doing other stuff. So I am, that is on my list. I just need to catch up. But I think it's the same. No, it's not the same creator. But I think it's the same author who did Inuyasha and also uh, Yatsuro Urusai. I think that's right. Uh, Ranman and a half. Ranman and a half. Why? Because I've always been interested in this, but it was an old sh uh, series and I never touched the manga. I'm going to go into this completely blind. The only thing I know is about the whole water and the transformation thing, Magic. That's all I know. Uh, so I'm genuinely curious on what this is going to be. Uh, I know um, um, the other series was very well done, uh, and I actually do plan on watching that one on my own, uh, but we will see. But yeah, Ram and a Half, definitely on my list. Don't know if I'm going to be watching it yet. Next one. <sighs> all right, so if you don't know... This seems sus, and I, I said the same thing when I first saw this. Suma Shoku, um, Shogakusai, Kusei, sorry, Ninaru, if my wife becomes an elementary school student. When I saw this title, I was sus, and then I read it, 
I was a little bit more sus. I didn't read the source material, but I read a little bit of the synopsis. But everyone who has apparently seen this, I don't know if it's based off an anime or a light novel, or I'm sorry, a manga or a light novel, they have all said, you need to watch this. So, or it's, it's, don't compare it to, basically, it's kind of like Bunny Girl Senpai. It, th there is the title, but there's way more to it. And yeah, so I'm going to give it a shot. I've heard I, from the people who have claimed to have said, have read it and seen the source material. They say it's great. Next one. Yakuza Wife. I'm not going to even pronounce the uh, Japanese version. I have not. I, I, eh. Yeah. Uh, Yakuza Wife. I saw a quick couple seconds of this and I was like, okay, this looks interesting enough. I'm, I'm going to this one completely blind. I haven't even looked at that synopsis, but I saw it simply on Twitter X, uh, some of the preview. And I was like, this looks interesting. But I stopped it because I like going to the things blind. This one looks interesting. Title was interesting. That's all it takes. Uh, and the next one, Kimiwa Mirosama. That one I can at least pronounce at least semi-correctly. This one, simple. A maid knocks on a boy's door and is like, I want to be a live-in maid. Or, I want to be a maid for you. And she used to be an ex-assassin. I saw the preview. Looks good enough. I mean, it looks fine. Looks interesting. And that's why I'm interested in it. Nothing much to it. And the last one is the most popular one that a lot of people are looking forward to, Uzumaki. Now, I personally think, and there's a lot of people who agree with me on this one, Uzumaki and horror in general, sorry, not just Uzumaki, but horror in general doesn't usually translate very well on the anime slash manga sphere, especially manga because it's kind of hard to do a jump scare or anything. You can do a creepiness void, um, but you can do something like creepy in a vibe, but it's very hard to do that in a manga. It's very, very rare. Anime, you can do it. You can add sound effects. You can add music that will change the tension. 100%. This one, I don't know. I'm curious. I think that's the main reason why is I'm genuinely curious. I want to see where this is going to go. Uh, but yeah, uh, Uzumaki Spiral into Horror. Uh, I'm, I'm not a big fan of um, horror, but it's Junji Ito, so he's one of the most well-renowned, not not just horror mangaka, but mangaka of all time. Like I know of Junji Ito, I've never, I've only touched a couple, a handful of his his works. Uh, so yeah, but that ends with the interested of all those. Let me know which one is the you need to watch this one for sure, and I'll I'll probably react to it. But Getting on to the three shows that I'm interested in, from least interested to most interested, and I do say that in quotations because I'm looking forward to all three of these. But the first one is Dan to Dan. I have been super interested in this the moment I saw s like single panels of the manga. It looked interesting, the premise sounded interesting, it's a sci-fi. All I know is that it was sci-fi with some drama and some comedy. I was like, you got me interested at the very least. So, and I remember this was very popular, popular enough where a lot of people on the Western side were like, this is a good series. So I was like, you know what? Same thing with um, uh, Kaiju number eight. I didn't go into it at all. And I'm just going to shelve it and watch it when it comes out. So yeah, Dan to Dan, 100% going to be watching it. Next one. And the next two that have sequels. One I have been waiting for for a long time. I do wish my ex-roommates to live with me because me and him had a blast watching this gun gale online alternative or sorry sort of online alternative gun gale online season two the first season the i think the sec like the second half of the entire series of the season was just a giant battle royale that was just so much fun to watch me and my roommate were just having a blast and i think that was the main reason why i enjoyed this one so much i don't really care for sword Art online i watched the first season couldn't really get into the second season. I just kept on dropping it. Tried it multiple times to pick it up, but this one just hit for some reason. I've enjoyed this. I want to see more of it. I also want to see, I need to rewatch it, but I also want to see more of the real life side because of the whole, the ma the girl in real life is actually very tall and very, um, and very hesitant about her height in general because it's very tall. Which would probably be about what five foot ten for us, however many centimeters that is. But yeah, I, I can't wait to have a blast with this. I hope I can actually talk to with my roommate with this, and just we'll talk about it. Although we're probably he's probably gonna need to wait until it's in English because he's a mostly English person um, in terms of watching, in terms of the dub. Another series and the main series. If you know, you know. 
this is my most forward looked show probably since i saw the second season do i even need to explain no but i will Re Zero is the only show that has broken my own rule if you don't know i have a rule i cannot purposely and with good conscience rate and rank a show until it is done canceled or wrapped up done and wrapped up or the same thing done or canceled basically this is the only series that has broken that and is and is in my top five now is there a possibility that this makes it drop out of the top five? A hundred percent. I I heard that this, it's not going to be this season, so I don't know. Um, yeah, Reserve Season Three. There's nothing much to say. I know that they are changing the art style a little bit to match more onto the original character designs from what I've been reading. Uh, but I, I I don't know anything about this season. Not a damn thing. Why? Because I love going to this blind. Me and my ex roommate is the the one I was just talking about. We spent almost an hour every single day after this episode aired after the er episode that um that week aired theory crafting discussing just talking about things it was one of the most enjoyable moments as an anime watcher very few times will I ever feel like that now he's all he broke his rule of watching things in english dub because he was like, I need to watch this. I can't wait for two, three weeks, however long it was for the simul dub. He he watched it. He he it struggled at first, but he learned to do the read the sub and then look at read the subs really quickly, then watch. The the, the amount of theory crafting and just time spent just talking about this series. I, I'm gonna be doing the same thing. And it's gonna be hard because he's read ahead. <laughs> He actually read the light novel and he's like, dude, you're you're gonna love the season. And if he's gonna if he's saying that, I, I totally trust him. Season three has been one of my most anticipated shows. I need to rewatch the first. I'll probably watch the second season. Um, or at least do a good synopsis of it. I I can't wait with everything going on. See, he's got Beatrice on his side now. He's got Roswell. Oh, you have no idea. But those are the three shows that I'm for sure watching. And the other five, or four, yeah, the other five shows, um, I'm not counting Ruruni Kenshin, uh, that I listed as I'm interested in, let me know. Or if there is a new season, series, basically anything that's, you know, not a um, sequel, tell me what I should look out for. Uh, there is a good amount. I'm not watching Dragon Ball because, uh, eh, sorry, but let me know. I don't really care for a lot of um, isekai, but maybe there's one out here that will surprise me. Who knows? We shall see. But, Rio Zero Season 3, you have no idea how hyped I am for this one. It doesn't even air until we have another month. Uh, so I'm doing this a little bit early. I'm, st I'm doing this in um, August, near the end of August. Uh, but yeah, I have missed you guys greatly. I miss you guys a lot, actually. Um... Hopefully, by the time you see me again, um, I wanted to do some live streams, but in all honesty, with my current lifestyle, it has been very hard, but in a good way. I lost a lot of weight, gained some muscle mass, gone out, done stuff, been on dates. Nothing worked out, but at least I'm going out there. Life is getting good. I want to continue it that way. So hopefully next time you see me, I'll definitely be a lot darker because walking out in Vegas sun, if you don't know, is quite brutal. Um, in fact, you can actually probably see. Look at that. I, it is that is a disgusting tan line. I wear tank tops and um, performers uh, T-shirts, so I have tan lines all over. But it has been good. I want to get better. I'm going to get better. And yeah, I'm just looking forward to things. Oh, speaking of also coming out, um, it's going to be in fall season two, uh, Arcane. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be even able to touch that one. If I do, it's going to have to be completely edited. So, <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, um, I'm doing better, guys. I'm doing better. I, I, I can tell I've lost weight a little bit uh, since I've last been on camera. I'm looking at my, I'm looking at it right now, but... Sorry, I'm just rambling at this point. I just kind of do, do this off script. 
just for fun. The only thing I have scripted is literally what I'm looking forward to. That's it. Yeah. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Next time you see me, brand new chair. Same exact kind though, so probably won't be much of a difference. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys want me to check out or be on the eye on. I want to get back to other series that I wanted to, but it just depends. I don't have a lot of time and I'm hoping this doesn't interfere, especially when I'm working two jobs, two locations. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. See ya.